Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. So once again, it's been a couple of weeks due to a busy schedule. I couldn't upload the videos. So extremely sorry for that. But the placement season is coming home. Yes. Uh, so the campus placements are starting and people have started asking me how to prepare, what to do, what not to do. I have uh, like a previous video on the campus placements. If you haven't seen that, go and see that. I launched it the year ago, just at a similar time when the companies were just starting to come. So I've shared most of the tips there. Some updates on the tips I would like to share here for both the engineering and the MBA students to appear for an interview. Whenever you appear for the interview, the things that you should keep in mind or the research that you are supposed to do whenever you are going for a campus interview. So first of all, groom well. Like the uh, way I am sitting in an interview, you are supposed to wear formals in an interview, preferably a tie or a business suit. If uh, it is an MBA interview, uh, it's almost a compulsion. If it's an engineering interview, it's always good to wear. Uh, but then you do not want to feel out of the group because most of the engineering students come with only business formals without a, a suit. Uh, it's not an added advantage that you would get, particularly when it comes to the engineering thing. For the MBA thing, most of your peers would be wearing suits. So it's preferable that you wear suits too. Uh, in fact, I didn't have a suit uh, when I appeared for a couple of interviews. Then I bought it because I thought that it is uh, like it is very compulsory to wear suits because uh, you're going to find other people wearing blazers wearing suits so it's important that you also keep up to that pace uh, talking of engineering students suits are not at all compulsory but it's good to have one handy uh, you can wear them uh, it's it, it kinds of uh, kind of creates a good impression uh, but apart from that do not uh, uh, this is a very common sense people generally do not do that but still typically some people go with uh, uh, shirts that are not ironed properly or uh, shirts those uh, whose buttons are broken these are the typical trends that i have seen in my engineering days as well that some of the students went like this uh, shirts were not ironed properly because in engineering we have this belief uh, you know uh, in mba when i came uh, the grooming and the aesthetics uh, were given much value the presentation was given much value because in mba this is the prime thing you know and we have learned a lot about them and that's why uh, i now understand how important is it, the presentation for the hrs particularly uh, who uh, look out for the correct candidate so it's very important that you dress up and groom up properly for an interview do not wear uh, unironed shirts uh, iron your sh uh, shirts whatever you wear and your sleeve buttons and your main buttons should be there in place there shouldn't be any missing buttons if possible preferably put up the top button in fact i do not put it because i feel uncomfortable anything that makes you uncomfortable do not do that because that's going to affect your interview after all and uh, if preferably you can wear a tie and suit you can do that so now coming to what do you speak like uh, in the general uh, terms uh, saying like uh, uh, for the preparation of the interview prepare cliche HR questions uh, prior to going to the interview I have a separate video on the typical HR questions that are generally asked for engineering interview uh, process so go through those questions and how to typically answer them frame out answers right from the beginning like introduce yourself will be a typical question your educational background and your cross questions from the CV so be prepared from those angles the cliche HR questions and yes a follow-up of this point is take another pointer of this whatever you write in the cv whatever you write in the cv each and every word should be known to you if you are writing that i have attended this particular analytics course uh, here or i have uh, achieved this particular award uh, this many years back they will not listen to excuses that i have forgot what i have done whatever you write in your cv you should be prepared in descriptive details about that because that is where you get to steer the interview if you say the correct thing in the first one or two minutes you get to drive the interview towards your point i have said it multiple times in multiple videos that be prepared with your introduction be prepared with whatever you write your cv in your cv and try to steer the uh, interview in that direction so if you do not know anything that's written in your cv it's going to be a negative thing in your back uh, like uh, in your not in your favor really because if they cross question you from the and you cannot answer that creates a very bad impression moreover you cannot drive the interview steer the interview towards your strength zone so it's very important to know what you have written in your cv if you do not remember do not know anything uh, that's written in your cv delete that point do not think that my cv is uh, getting lighter the content matters not the length of the cv Again, I say the content matters, not the length of the CV. Even if your CV is half page, if the content is good, it will be visible to the HR or the recruiting people. So please, 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 please 
uh, whatever you have done please write that do not add unnecessary points in the cv i have made se several videos for uh, cvs for engineering company series for non engineering companies non tech and tech companies please refer to those video how to make a cv uh, these points should be there and uh, coming to um, your uh, preferences your interests whenever the uh, like uh, the interviewer asks uh, you if you are up for a final placement do not say startups do not say i'm preparing for gate cat because that's not going to fetch you a, an, a chance with the organization because no organization wants people to leave them so keep this mind clear in your mind i have made a video on what five things you should avoid saying in the interview so if you are preparing for the interview season just go to that playlist of ours in which all these videos are there the company interview video playlist and you get to see all the videos that i have made how to crack a gd how what to say and what not to say in a pi and why i got rejected in multiple interviews i've shared all those experiences bits and pieces just go through those whatever you find relevant just read through those apart from this whatever interview you are appearing for you should know the technical know hows of that if you are appearing for an internship you are not expected to know that much but then again you should have the basic know hows of what and how it is happening if you are appearing for the full time employee position you should be knowing uh, like 90 to 95% of your coursework you in the basic engineering questions are like explained it multiple times what are the general cliche questions that are asked for engineers particularly chemical engineers fluid mechanics is a must you should study about newtonian and non newtonian fluids types of pumps where and how they are used uh, working principle of pumps npsh cavitation selection of pumps very very important topics internship as well these topics are very important in chemical technology about the carbons hydrocarbons in particular c1 c2 c3 where and how they are used and prepared so every industry you know related to hydrocarbons maybe a polymerization industry maybe uh, hydro desulfurization industry uh, maybe uh, you know multiple industries are there hydro cracking units you should know all of these in units you know ldu uh, uh, you should know the use of atmospheric distillation columns uh, uh, vacuum distillation columns you should study the particular subjects in mass transfer and heat transfer uh, the design of particular units like distillation column design you should know heat exchanger design you should know um, maybe evaporator design you should know these are the few designs that you are required to know prior and whenever you are appearing for the interview but then again do not study the design in intricate details or do not explain them in intricate details because that kind of gives an impression that you are preparing for gate tell them the basic concepts and the basic mathematical formulations but do not dive into the deep details such that it gives an impression that you are studying for gate so you should realize this line uh, the thin line of gap that how and when you are explaining to uh, to whom and to which extent you should explain so that is very important so uh, once again Uh, it's very important to understand your limitations where and how you should speak how much we have made separate videos for that uh, technical knows i've already shared the cliche hr questions i have shared cv preparation i have shared uh, gd preparation there are separate two videos of how to prepare for group discussion what to say what not to say how to approach a, an unknown topic in a gd it's there in the playlist so please refer to those topics as well a gd topics prepare current affairs prepare ethical and uh, uh, dilemmas that, that that are there the cliche topics are always up there for discussion uh, conduct some mock gdpi is among your friends so that you get the feel try to smile throughout the interview and the gd so these are the few tips that's going to help you throughout try to read the mind of the hr and the person interviewing you it's going to be important reading the mind because then you are get prepared for the questionnaire or she might ask the very next moment it's very important and most importantly now the last point and the final point that i'm going to conclude is whichever company is coming in to hire you please read about that company this this mistake is being conducted by most of the engineering students in fact i did it i never read about the company that's coming to campus because companies will be so, so frequent it it was very difficult and we at point some point of time we thought that clearing the aptitude is more important than reading about the company once we get to the pi whatever chance you get even if you get that one chance you are going to convert it and the see the technical knows you know that 
uh, another person also knows that what creates the difference is your alignment with the company that is coming in to hire you so if you can prove your alignment with the company values that's coming in to hire you read about the company read about the company's mission the vision the values of the company the csr initiatives of the company has taken visit their website visit their page read about the company in thorough detail in whichever interview are appearing and try to slip those information in conversation such that you give a glimpse to the interviewer that you have studied enough about the company and your thought process is in alignment with the companies so that is very important to make them realize that you know about what you are doing and you know about the company that is hiring you and you are totally aligned with the values and principles of the company so just make them realize that and whenever the hr asks uh, this question that do you have a question about ourselves prepare the question uh prior to the interview because many people end up saying that we do not have a question that doesn't seem correct read about the con- uh, company you are going to have questions uh, certain questions select the best out of them and ask them and ask them in such a way that they again realize that you have read about the company and you are aligned with the company i was just giving this tip to one of my uh, batchmates today so uh, i just shared it with you guys as well so that you can also uh, up- approach the interview in such a way so all the best for the placement season these were some uh, journalistic tips for both the mba and the engineering students so all the best for the upcoming interviews may you bag the best job zone and if you need any help i am just one mail or one call away so all the very best once again to all the students appearing for the interview season uh, thank you very much that's it for today if you like our work like it share it and uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bells icon for regular updates and we will keep on bringing more interesting topics like this thank you